Hey everyone, this is Syed Ahmed. I'm service operation evangelist and an ITIL trainer. Some of you know me because I have my YouTube channel which says get into IT with Syed Ahmed. I made incident on, uh, sorry, I made uh, videos on major incident management, change management and problem management. Today I wanted to take some quick few minutes to make uh, this video on um, a situation that we are tackling today of will Gen AI or agentic AI is going to replace major incident managers. Let's understand that. Uh, first understand what is Gen AI and agentic AI. Gen AI is your chat GPT, which is a new Google for you. You ask anything, it's going to give you, it helps you summarize, it gives you data points, it helps you create workflows, etc., etc. Whereas an agentic AI is literally doing some actions. Um, it's, it's kind of bot who's going to help you resolve issues. It's going to help you open bridge calls. It help, it's going to help you escalate. It's going to help you send notifications. These are the actions that are being done by uh, agentic AI, an agent who's going to actually do certain, uh, certain things on behalf of you. Now let's understand with major incident management, what can be automated, what cannot be automated. Uh, do we really need to get worried about if we are going to lose our jobs uh, as a major incident manager? I know it's a little scary when I'm talking all of this, but interesting topic to know. And, and I'm sure at the end of this video, uh, you'll be happy to know uh, that you were watching this video and you, you got some knowledge out of it. So let's understand what a Gen AI or agentic AI can do. Today, it can triage your incidents. It can send notifications. Uh, it can uh, escalate when it is needed. Uh, it can open bridge calls for you. This is what uh, an AI can do it. What it cannot do today as a major incident manager is it cannot calm down the um, uh, um, the VPs of your company who are really frustrated with the payments ongoing, right? AI cannot understand emotional intelligence of what a person is feeling or the when the business is impacted uh, and he is responsible for answering the leaders or the higher management or the leadership and stuff like that. AI cannot give that assurance that I am here, I'm going to resolve your issues. Only we can do that. We can assure the leadership, stakeholders, everybody that we are working on it. We can, we are working together. We've got the right teams on the call. We are working on it to resolve this issue. Um, conflict management, when technical teams start passing the ball, saying that, hey, that's not my problem. That's your problem. That's mine. That's a blame game. No, AIs cannot really help you do that. Humans can, we can do that, okay? And with this being said, this is the most important part, right? Understanding of taking the right decision at the right time, only a human can do. And that's when, that's where a human touch or a human presence and accountability matters. But if I really want to give you realistic figures, major incident manager, Management can be automated up to 60 to 65 percent and 30 to 30 40 to 35 percent It cannot be automated and that 40 to 35 percent is about being accountable Being trustworthy enough being available making sure you're taking the right decisions and resolving the incidents uh, by uh, Sending out the right communications to the people of course AI can help you send communication but it's not always important or always necessary that the communication that AI is sending can always be right, right? So major incident managers, will, it, will they be replaced? No, they cannot be replaced. Uh, but somebody who knows how to use AI, t AI tools while doing the major incident management uh, job role can replace you for sure. So what I'm trying to say, this 65% or 60% of AI can be automated so you need to understand what are the ai tools that can be helpful to for you to use it when you're running major incidents there are many but it has to be a private automation or a private tool in your organization that can help you automate certain things you cannot start using chat gpt or um, uh, any other uh, tools that that are publicly available for the people that you put in your data over there, right? Now, when you have certain tool, I'll give you a real-time example that how I was able to 
do this to um, in my current company which I uh, the account that I'm working for which I will not be able to disclose it what we did with Microsoft Teams uh, we uh, enabled an AI tool with the help of APIs so what it does every one hour the conversation between 10 20 thousands of people who are on the call the transcripts were enabled so it used to take all the transcripts of the people and it used to summarize what happened in the last one hour to me what happened in the last one hour over the call right so when that happened it becomes easier for me to send out communications because now it is giving me a a good summary of what happened in one hour now it doesn't mean I'm going to blindly send that because there are thousands or maybe hundreds or maybe a few people on the call who's talking about different technologies about different things to resolve an issue it may not understand but it will help me to draft my summary in such a way that I can I will be able to take decision and send this out uh, which is current which is correct which is appropriate to be sent out right but before maybe my English was not great enough or good enough that I couldn't frame sentences now I have a tool that is helping me write all of that and even from that and if you feel certain things are not right you correct it and you put it back on, onto the AI tool it's going to again give you a, a summary which is much much better than what you were writing by yourself okay so what we did we enabled the recording sessions of our teams and um, the transcripts and both of this were integrated with one of our AI tools that helped us to resolve the communication or sending notification issues what we also do, did with the same AI tool we enabled the escalation matrix the share point that wherever the escalation matrix are to integrate with the SharePoint tool, all we had to say to the AI tool is get me a storage support SME. This AI used to go and look for that SME and send out a push notification email or SMS um, to let the person know that we are looking for that particular person or an SME on the call. But the message would be very simple. The message would just go like that. There's a P1 situation that's going. You're requested on a P1 bridge call. Here's the link. Okay. Uh, now that SME doesn't really need to know much with that notification but he is informed maybe not just the SME maybe a primary and a secondary SME or the um, L3 support or an L4 support whoever needs to be informed on that P1 so it's sending out notifications for the people that I need to I need to have them on this call that reduced my overall time to engage people on the call what else did we do we enabled this AI engine to um, a problem tickets what it does is it was able to segment it that or it was able to group the number of incidents that we have had into a sim uh, uh, into a group where these incidents are similar but with different applications or different servers but they have a bug on it they they run very slow they are legacy systems so it grouped a set of incidents to us to give us a trend and with the historic data we were able to identify okay we can focus on this top talkers okay it also helped us to draft an RCA again look all this manual efforts that we were doing on an excel sheet previously has or has been automated and Ag agentic ai or gen ai has made our life easier so today this ai is not my competitor that i feel is going to replace me but in fact it's a companion or it's a co-pilot to me he's sitting next to me doing all the job that i used to do it before manually but i can focus on taking right decisions being judgmental uh, with the people on the call in terms of technical um, uh, te te in terms of technologies and uh, also resolving this conflicts and also understanding and calming down the people who are feeling frustrated because of this P1 situations and also uh, helping them understand and giving them assurance that I take the whole accountability of resolving this incident. Of course, I may not be able to meet SLA sometimes if it's a complex issue, but I am communicating 
a human to human interaction can always make them feel better so all in all 35 percent of your work cannot be replaced but look at the number of the, the rest of the numbers 60 to 65 percent is getting automated so is ai is going to replace you no somebody who knows how to use ai will definitely replace you so uh, start using ai tools in your current organization um, this little thing when i suggested it you know we can enable it uh, the use case that i was telling you that how we enable the transcripts the escalation matrix and all of that that reduced our empty empty tr we were able to group the number of incidents in one set of category like end of service life issues uh, into caused by change related issues into um, let's say operational issues continuous improvement issues uh, human errors it was you know ai was able to help us get the data and we looked at the data and we said yes this is correct and we and we can focus on that human error so we can give more training we can hire skilled people that reduce the number of incidents and by engaging people quickly on the call with the help of automation i was able to reduce my mttr right uh, the lag time by the what is the lag time right the time when the issue is from the time the issue is created from the time it is being declared to a p1 right that time has been reduced because the moment somebody uh, is running a p1 bridge i get a notification on my phone that there is a potential p1 going on of course a human or maybe an incident manager or a service desk has to say it's a potential p1 i get a notification uh, dashboards the most important thing on ai it give me a visual representation of what's going on how many p1s are going on to the leadership of course right they they know what is going on and if there is a p1 going on on which which on which tower of their company uh, when i say tower which group whether it is storage whether it is servers networks or particular region etc etc ai is helping you give that visual representation as well so how to build your power bi dashboards um, how to uh, use ai tools uh, how can you really do some process initiatives with respect to ai if you really want to learn all of that you should really learn all of that uh, start please reach out to me i will be able to help you w what are the tools uh, again the tools cannot be public uh, public ai tools are on public domain because you might be using sensitive data of your company so refrain using that okay but how can it really be effective how can what is your job role over there how can you use them i will i will be able to reach out or i will be able to teach you that in my uh, coaching sessions um, if you're really interested reach out to me you will see this video on my youtube channel which is get into uh, si si get into it with Syed Ahmed. subscribe and uh, i have my phone number given there reach out to me okay but this is the gist of how ai is playing a role in our daily life or as a major incident manager thank you all have a great day and um, happy learning thank you so much